Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shella of Richie Shella Crochet. How are you today? And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribe and click the bell button for you to be notified every time na may i-upload ako na bagong videos or tutorial. Okay, so this is um, sandal of Little Baby Girl. Uh, many of you uh, ask me questions how to make a sandal for a one-year-old like that. So, para sa akin guys, um, you have to measure the actual fit of your baby. Okay? So, mine, pag may nagtatanong sa akin, uh, pag may nag-order sa akin, uh, I just ask the mommy. <laughs> I just ask mommy to um, give me the right uh, size of their, of their little one. So, sasabihin ko, paapakan sa baby nila yung roller, roller, yung roller, kaya yung measure kung mayroon sila, para makuha talaga natin yung instinct. This is not my original design. I, I got the inspiration photo from um, Pinterest. I'm going to use the local yarn, uh, Monaco yarn. Like that, Monaco yarn. Double pull tayo sa Monaco yarn, okay? And then, the soft uh, polyester. Eight ply na soft polyester. And then, I used two different sizes of hook. Okay, 2 millimeter and then 1.75 millimeter. The 2 millimeter hook I used is for the sole and then the 1.75 I used for this uh, part, the ankle part of the baby shoes. Okay, and then uh, button, of course, our darning needle and then our tape measure, our tape measure and our scissor. Okay. So, in this part, I'm going to show you how to make the sole. So, I have here the other one. So, kailangan natin ng dalawa. Ayun, guys. So, let's start. So, this one. In this part, okay? In this part, in part one, I'm going to show you how to make this. Sole is 4 point... I know. 4.25 inch. Ayan siya, guys. Okay. So, first, we're going to make our slip knot. Don't forget to make a slip knot. Okay? And then chain of 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I would like to inform. <laughs> so, kailangan pala natin, guys, ng ating stitch marker. Okay? At least two stitch marker in this project. Okay? So, okay, for our round one, we're going to make a... Uh, single crochet into the third chain so this is the first one second and then this is the third chain so insert your hook into that chain and then make a single crochet and put your stitch marker in that stitch okay and then 18 single crochet into here into the second to the last stitch 18 single crochet so one two three Okay, so I'm done with my 18 single crochet and into the last stitch here, work 3 single crochet into that stitch. Okay, so 1, 2, and 3. So we're working, turn around, I, I so we're working in rounds, so we're going to work into the next stitch, a 1 single crochet here, 1 single crochet here. One single crochet and into uh, here, including this one, uh, 18 single crochet. Okay, so we need 17 more single crochet. So, ayan, natapos ko na yung aking 18 chain, uh, single crochet. And into here, into the last stitch, work two single crochet. Oops, sorry. Two single crochet into the very stitch. Last stitch. One and then two. Okay, so remove the stitch marker and then slip stitch into that stitch. Like that. Oops. Chain one. And work two single crochet into that stitch. One and then two. Insert your hook, insert your uh, slip stitch, uh, yeah, stitch marker into the first single crochet. Okay, and then 18 single crochet. 
across one two three four five six okay so done with my 18 single crochet and then for the next three stitches we're going to work two single crochet in each stitch in each stitch okay so one single crochet two single crochet again into the next stitch two single crochet one and two into the next stitch two single crochet one and two okay and for the next 18 stitches work one single crochet one two three four five and then for the next two stitches left work two single crochet into each stitch okay so one and then two and into the last stitch two single crochet one and then two okay so remove the stitch marker and then step stitch into that stitch okay so for our round three for our round three is step stitch okay so we made slip stitch and then chain chain one and then work two single crochet into the first chain so our stitch so this is to where we make our slip stitch work two single crochet into that stitch okay so one and two again put your stitch marker back into the first single crochet and then work eight single crochet across one two three four five six seven eight and then sorry eight and then for the next three stitches work one half double crochet so one half double crochet one and then yarn over into the next stitch half double crochet again two and then into the next stitch half double crochet okay so here we work eight single crochet and then three single crochet i uh, three half double crochet and then eight double crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay eight and then into the next stitch work two half I into the next stitch work two double crochet so one one double crochet and then two double crochet okay so we made an increase and then into the next stitch we made increase again two double crochet one and then into the uh, same stitch two okay so two double crochet and then into the next stitch again two double crochet one and two so we made three increases into the next stitch again two double crochet four increase and into the next stitch two double crochet five increase and into the last stitch work oh into the next stitch work again two double crochet one and then two and in this part work eight single crochet or oh, eight double crochet one two three four five six seven and eight and then three half double crochet one two and then three 
and eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then for the next three stitches, work work a three increase so one single crochet and two single crochet and then in the next two single crochet one and two in the next stitch two single crochet okay and then slip stitch remove the stitch marker and then slip stitch into that stitch like that and then chain one chain two chain two and then yarn over it and make two half double crochet into that same stitch so sorry one and then yarn over again and then insert your hook into the same stitch and two don't forget to put your stitch marker into your first stitch okay so this is the first half double crochet insert your hook in insert your stitch marker that and then for the next stitches work uh, 10 sing uh, 10 half double crochet okay oh half double crochet one two sorry three four five six seven Eight, nine, and ten, and then ten half, uh, ten single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then into the next stitch, work two double crochet. One, and then two. And then into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, two double crochet, one and two, and then into the next stitch, one double crochet. Okay, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet. Continue working this pattern four times more. Okay, four times more. Okay, so I completed my four more of increases. So in total of six increase okay so this is the first increase and then one double crochet one increase one double crochet two three four five and then six okay and then into the next stitch work ten double crochet so one two three four Five. and then into the next stitch 10 half double crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and then Half double crochet and into the next stitch increase of half double crochet so one and then into the next stitch or into the same stitch two okay and into the next stitch one half double crochet and into the next stitch two half double crochet one two and into the next stitch one half double crochet and into the next stitch make an increase of half double crochet so one and two 
remove the stitch marker and then slip stitch into that stitch. So for our round 5, one single crochet into the same stitch and then insert your hook into that stitch. I uh, insert your hook, insert your slip uh, stitch marker and then work a single crochet in each stitch all around. One single crochet in each stitch up here into here, into the last stitch. So I'm done with our round 5 and then at this point, we're going to cut the yarn. Take a long tail for that and then like that and then to remove the stitch marker. Get your darning needle. And then insert your darning needle into that stitch. And then insert your darning needle into the middle of the stitch. Like that. And then pull. This is now how it looks like. And then secure it into the back of the baby sew. So now we have to measure a 4.25 inch. We're going to um, attach it into the other like this yarn and make a slip knot and then insert your hook in any stitch and then get your yarn Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch in each of the stitches. So insert your hook into the next stitch and into the back. Okay, then grab the yarn. Insert your hook into the next stitch and into the next. Oh, into. Okay, so guys, I'm done with my slip stitching all around. So this time, you have to cut the yarn. Okay. So, may iniwan tayong isang stitch bago natin tatapusin ng ating round. Ayan. Then, take your darning needle. And, insert your needle into the first slip stitch we made. Like that, and then pull in here into the last stitch, slip stitch we made. Okay, so that's it. And then at the back, tie it to secure the yarn two times, and we the ends into the sole. And also here, the other shoes, the other sandal, I made a slip stitch. So, dito ka mag magsisimula, okay? Dito hanggang doon sa may dulo. Like this. Ayan, kitang-kita naman yung slip stitch. Tapos ayan yung sa likod. Okay? 